I'm Max Dalton and in this video I'll show you how to use Google Photos Magic Eraser feature on your iPhone. If you haven't tried it yet, Google's Magic Eraser feature in Google Photos is a powerful tool that lets you remove unwanted objects or people from your photos almost like magic. Whether it's a photobomber or an unsightly object messing up your perfect shot, I'll show you how to clean up your images directly on your iPhone using this cool feature. The only requirement is that to save your edited photos, you have to be a Google One subscriber. So if you're ready to make your photos look their best, let's jump right into it. Step 1. Open a photo you want to use Google's Magic Eraser feature on in the Google Photos app on your iPhone. Step 2. Tap Edit in the menu along the bottom of the screen. The editing menu opens. Step 3. Swipe from right to left across this menu to see additional options. Tap Tools when you see it. You'll see Magic Eraser displayed as an option. Step 4. Tap Magic Eraser. If you haven't used Magic Eraser on your iPhone before, you'll likely see a window letting you know that you need to install more editing tools on your device. Tap Install if you see this message. Wait a few minutes, reopen the Google Photos app, and then navigate to a photo you want to use Google's Magic Eraser feature on. Step 5. Again, tap Edit, tap Tools, and then tap Magic Eraser. The Magic Eraser feature opens for your image. Step 6. If there are suggestions for images that can be removed on your image, you'll see a note letting you know that suggestions are found, and those images will be highlighted in white. You can see in this picture I have two images highlighted. You can tap each of the images individually to remove individual images, or you can tap Erase All to remove all of the suggested image removals. Alternatively, you can use your finger to circle images that you want to remove. For example, in this image I'll draw a circle around the sign on this building to remove it. The circled image is removed immediately. Step 7. Tap Done when you're done making edits to your image and then tap Save if you're a Google One subscriber to save your image. Let me know if this video helped you out in the comments below. If you liked what you saw here, click the video links on the right side of the screen to check out another video. Or click the logo on the left side of the screen to check out my tutorial website at www.maxdalton.how.